Hello guys, today we will try a combination of uh, grease pencil and uh, particles to create some cool effects. I have this collection with these uh, three simple hearts I made using grease pencil. It's just one heart and then I duplicated it and used this sculpt tool here to modify it a bit. And then I added a noise modifier so that we have this uh, little animation here. And now we will try to uh, make these hearts fly on the screen. Here in object mode, shift A and create a new mesh and that is a plane. Let's hit G and then Z to lower it a bit and then zero. Okay, G, Z again and then S to resize it, make it uh, bigger than uh, our camera view. Here, as you can see, it is a square. You can keep it like this, the more depth we have and more hearts, but we are working in grease pencil, it's 2D. So I will just resize it on the Y axis, show S, Y and resize it, make it a rectangle like this. Back to camera view and I think we are good. Then we go here, two particles, we hit the plus button here and we create a new particle system. We choose emitter here. We will go here to render and change this from uh, hollow to collection because we will use the collection containing the hearts. You could have just one heart and use here uh, select here object. So we use collection and select our hearts collection. Okay, so let's play our animation here and see what happens. Strange, nothing happens. Oh, that's because I created my plane inside the hearts collection. How stupid of me. So I'll just move it to the main collection here. And let's try again. Okay, we have our hearts now. But they are not flying, they are falling. And that's because, of course, of gravity. So we go to one again and then go to here to scene properties. We disable gravity. So again, we play the sky here and now our hearts are flying. But you can see that they are disappearing right here. Also, there's another problem. If you zoom in here, you see that our hearts are sideways and I don't know why this happens. So we could just rotate our plane, I guess. Let's try it. R C. We could just rotate our plane and have them uh, in the right direction. No, <laughs> they don't. Okay, so control Z. What I'm going to do is go again to the particle system, enable rotation here. And instead of velocity, we choose object Y. So this after a, a lot, <laughs> some experiments, I discovered that using this sitting here, object Y will correct our uh, particles orientation. Okay, so this is good. We have very small hearts here and we have the, the original hearts here showing. So just hide the collection. So again, we select our plane and we go here to render and we uh, yes make the scale bigger and then we randomize the scale to have some bigger hearts and some smaller hearts and for uh, this issue where our hearts disappear we just need to change this the lifetime to like 200 maybe to frame one again and we test again and we see that our hearts are flying and going up and up and up very slowly but that's not a very big problem we have a lot of density here, so we lower the number of hearts to maybe uh, 250. Again, I think this is good. You see that our hearts are transparent and that's a setting I used here in grease pencil. Here opacity is just 0, 0.92 in the other heart is 0, 0.9, the other one 0, 0.95. This is, uh, yeah, this is very good. We could lower the lifetime here and we could also um, add to this here to the, so from frame one to frame 300, we could have that too. So as you can see, we could lower the lifetime to 150. So they disappear more quickly. The flying uh, of the horse is slow, but you could uh, easily later um, increase the speed of the video you render. 
for uh, the rendering if you want the hearts and a transparent background what you need to do is to go to the render properties and then to film and then to enable transparency here so here we have transparency in the render preview and for the rendering settings you could render with a, a png sequence that will render multiple png images and then you can make them into one video or you could use these settings ffmpg and then um, in the encoding you use here a uh, quick time and here png and you select here rgba uh, a is for alpha to have your transparency so this is for the first part let's delete our plane here delete and now we will create the water shower so back to frame one and we will uh, shift a to add a icosphere let's put it here outside of our camera view and then shift a again and create an add a curve a busier curve here so this is our busier curve and we can go to edit mode hit 7 on the keyboard and we edit this curve here with the g and or with r or with the so we edit the the the, the busier handles here g x and then one and then we can let's go to the camera view and edit our curve like this here g select this one select this one g so this is a nice curve we have here the origin points here i want to have it here so what i do is select everything a and move my curve like this with g to have the origin point here and then we go to object mode and then we can move our curve what's annoying is that when you hit g and move the curve you can see it so i think this is good and we have our origin points at the end of our curve okay now we add a particle system to our sphere here plus we have it as emitter and here we use uh, our new collection it is the water collection I haven't shown you my water collection so this is it it's just uh, three spheres with a soft edge with different colors different shades of blue so this is my busier curve let's go back to a uh, camera view and let's hide our collection our water collection now we will select our curve and we go here to physics properties and add a force field as you can see the force field is located at our origin point that's why we wanted it to be here we want the water particles to go from here and travel through the curve to this point here if we play this now you can see the water particles flying of course we disabled um, gravity here before it is still disabled i think what i'm gonna do first is to edit my water particles so they are more visible than this so we go to our um, stings and as we did before to rotation we enable rotation and we change this to uh, object y and then we will resize in our render resize our particles to have them bigger like this nice and add some randomness okay so yeah now they look good but we will have our force field edited so back again here let's change this from point to curve this is very important and let's play it you can see that the particles are going outside instead of to the force field so i guess the force field is something that pushes things out and not attract things in that's why we have to uh, make this a negative value to make it attract these particles okay so this is it it is attracting the water particles now what we need is more life time for the particles so we select our curve again and we make this like 200 frames again to frame one and again we play this 
and you see that it goes beyond the force field okay so what are we gonna change again so you will have to go back and forth between these two settings to make it perfect what if we made this to one so it's very slow i think we should lower this to like minus five this will make it faster i think yes very nice very nice i think this is very good what if we made this to zero again i think this will make it real fast yes this is very good it's going down and then back again i think i will try 0 0.5 here and we have this okay we could make the lifetime stop like here in frame 93 so back here to our particles back here lifetime 93 and back again to frame one and play it again okay i think this looks good we could also make this sphere smaller resize the sphere maybe this will give us a better look and we could also add more particles or uh, resize the particles to make them bigger and have a better look this is it i guess you can play more with the settings and have a, a better look than this you can have better particles maybe i used these techniques for the first time in a, a video clip i made for kids i will put the link for it in the description if you want to check it these are some previews of it i use it to create the hearts of course and uh, this water flow and the sweet seeds flow and i wanted of course to share with you these uh, techniques that um, take advantage of the particle system to use them with grease pencil and 2d animation thanks for watching uh, if you want to support the channel check my gumroad uh, account and buy any file you you like there tell me if there is anything you want to learn you want me to make a video about and see you in the next video peace